the current immigration laws, and I'll get to this in a little bit, have been in place for quite a long time. We haven't seen a real change for many years. And um, there have been a lot of attempts to try to change the laws. The last immigration, the last major immigration reform law that was passed in the United States was 1996. At the Chapman Visiting Scholar Series Lecture on Saturday, October 26, Professor Marisa Chancharulo talked with Nicholas Academic Center students about the state of immigration law and policy in the U.S. In addition to discussing programs like the DREAM Act and DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, Professor Chancharulo defined immigration terminology and examined causes for the current immigration crisis in the United States. The reason why we have such a high population of undocumented immigrants, people who don't have lawful status in the United States, is because there's no law for them to apply under. During the lecture, Professor Chancharulo debunked immigration myths about why immigrants do not have lawful status and informed students about the limited option immigrants have to become residents, which include applying for U visas for victims of violent crimes, T visas for victims of human trafficking, and asylum for those fleeing persecution. So a person who is unwilling or unable to return to their home country either because they have suffered past persecution, so they've suffered persecution already, or they haven't yet suffered past persecution, but they fear persecution. And they fear that they're gonna be persecuted because of their race, their religion, their nationality, their political opinion, or their membership in a particular social group. They meet the definition of a refugee. One new thing I learned today, it's about asylum, how uh, people from other countries that have been persecuted uh, in their home countries can come here and be protected by, this, uh, by the government. In the second half of the lecture, Professor Chancherulo divided students into groups, each with a unique case study concerning various immigration challenges. Students applied what they learned about immigration laws and policies to defend their clients and help them gain permanent resident status. Well, today I learned about all the different laws that protect people and help them to receive um, a way of legalizing themselves in order so to be protected in the future from harm and persecution and different ways like that. I found it kind of personal since my mom was going through some of those situations. I have friends at school that need help as well and probably don't know anything about this. I really like this lecture and hopefully I can learn more about this. You are going to be an important part of what happens with immigration law in the United States. You are going to have a voice in that, in that conversation. You can be in a career that allows you to take part in the changes that are going to happen. You can have a career representing people, um, like I did as an attorney. And I also learned a lot about immigration law, and I also think that maybe it could be one of the things that I want to do in my future, maybe become a lawyer or something like that, so I could help people that are immigrants. Since the Chapman Visiting Scholar Series was established in 2010, hundreds of Santa Ana Unified School District students have been exposed to a collegiate environment through lectures such as the one presented by Dr. Chan the lecture series is made possible through the partnership between Chapman University and the Nicholas Academic Centers.